their presence felt. Third and seven for McCoy. Norwood. And he's close to a first down. He was hit by Crocker at about the 38. It's a gain of six. Norwood is back for the Browns. Well punted ball. Norwood from the 26. Outstanding kick coverage by the Dolphins, led by uh, Chris Clemens. 51-yard punt, six-yard return. Not that it really matters, but Cole McCoy has set a team record for completions with 38. And adds to that mark, connects with Jordan Norwood. spent a year out in this area of the country as an assistant coach at Stanford in 1998 under Tyrone Willingham. Second and six, McCoy fires and wide open. He's able to make the connection. Jordan Norwood out of Penn State. 14-yard gain and third catch of the season for Norwood. Yeah, and it's just a simple hook route by Norwood. Covered on the outside by Terrell Brown. And you can see uh, the good sharp route and good timing on that play. That's the key to this offense is precision, routes, and timing with the gear. Was the leading tackler on special teams. Now he's the leading tackler overall for this defense. And he and Patrick Willis have been a one-two punch of the linebacker spot. McCoy gets rid of it. It's complete at midfield. Jordan Norwood and a four-yard gain. Cleveland has the one timeout remaining. Clock is ticking. 33-30. Indianapolis, Miami, and Seattle. Come with you, Joe. We got you. 16 you seconds left. Hard. McCoy fake the handoff. Sets and throws on a sideline route. Connects with Jordan Norwood. Norwood, no doubt. It's Cleveland's defense that has gotten the team to three and three. Now it's time for the offense to step forward and start making some plays and developing under Pat Shermer. It hasn't happened here today. 17-3 San Francisco, McCoy, and he's able to hit Jordan Norwood, getting more opportunities because of the injury to Massaqua. Chris Culliver with 11 last year, made changes, certainly upgrades on defense. That's been evident. McCoy gets rid of it, and Norwood with a flag down. And it's right where McCoy was hit Personal by Justin foul, Smith. Roughing the passer, number 94 defense. Blow to the head. Hamstrings on big guys take a long time. I think the, the Browns might consider just putting him on IR, eliminating him and his distraction from the team, and seeing if they can go forward with what they have. Second and seven, McCoy in stride. He connects with Jordan Norwood. First year out of Penn State. Oh, especially your first year as a head coach. Third and short. It's complete. And a Cleveland first down. Jordan Norwood. First year man out of Penn State. King rounds him up. But the Browns move the chains again. And, and it's going to pay off for this guy. It's going to pay off for this organization. Have quality guys like him, like Colt McCoy. They're building it the right way. Seven touches for a grand total of 72 yards for Cribs. They go to the opposite side of the field. That's Jordan Norwood. Hey, seems to be okay staying in the game. Thomas Clayton, who was just signed November 1st, is the only other healthy running back they have in the, for the halfback position. That's caught another first down in Jacksonville territory. And here goes Jordan Norwood. Dwight Lowry saves the touchdown. Well, it's all about run after the catch. An incredible job by Jordan Norwood catching that ball and shaking two. McCoy throws that watch. Boom, right there. What a great move by Norwood to get loose. And then it's just a foot race. And, of course, Lowry runs him down. Chris Prasinski, the backup safety, is necessary. 
Another first down for Cleveland on their opening possession. McCoy is going to go deep. Oh, and Jordan Norwood. And if he had caught that in stride, that would have been a touchdown. Well, Clements fell down on the coverage, and it was one of those. You know, Colt McCoy let it go, a rainbow, and he's saying, oh, my gosh, just catch it. He was all by himself, watches this ball flies out. You see Clemens on the ground getting up, and he can't stay in bounds. Otherwise, it's an easy touchdown. Third and ten for the Browns. Touchdown! Jordan Norwood! And that breaks the streak. Clemens fell again on coverage. You'll see it right to the bottom of your screen. He just falls down, gets tangled up, and can't finish the play. And Norwood catches that one. And this time, instead of flex for the Browns, they spotted at the 10. McCoy with time. And that is caught by Jordan Norwood. And that time, the Browns receive. Oh, third and eight. Here they come in the blitz. McCoy underneath to Norwood. Still on his feet. Fighting for some extra yardage and finally brought down at about the 36-yard line. Extra. Yeah, that was very close because it looked like he, was, he had gotten about the 33 on the catch, as you see here. Catches it in the void, and then as he spins around, he loses ground and loses about three or four yards. This is going to make this a 54-yard. 57 career interceptions, one of the best to ever play the game at safety. Just underway here in Cleveland. Third and three for the Browns. And they'll have a first down. Jordan Norwood driven out of bounds at about the 38-yard line by Bernard Pollard, the strong safety. He yeah, has a nice opening series here for the Browns. You see that at the top, the inside receiver. Norwood just takes a little quick out. Nice, easy completion. That whole play in that series, that first down was all set up by the second down run. They play a big emotional game and win. The next week, it seems they have trouble dredging up that same emotional content. High formation. Big step drop. Short to Norwood and a nice pickup. Still on his feet. And finally brought down. At the 39-yard line, a first down for Cleveland, and now we have a flag down. Yeah, Norwood's going to get flagged for throwing the football at a defender. He didn't, he didn't really mean to, but it looked like he flipped it to have gone for nothing. Empty backfield, first and 20. And McCoy trying to get something going on offense. That's caught by Norwood. In the locker room for Cleveland also just a few Norwood, minutes ago, deep, and so that puts Jordan Norwood back deep for this punch. Norwood camps under it at the 35. Made the first man miss. And spins his way out across the 45. Norwood on the return. The good field position for the Browns here, trailing 7-3 to three as we check in with Alex. Hey, Brad, I was in the Steelers' tunnel when they took uh, Ben Roethlisberger into the locker room. Really had a... Oh, boy, he got all of this one. Norwood backpedals. Dropped the ball. Flags are down. Norwood weaving through traffic has got it back in Steeler territory. But again, penalty marker on the play. I always get nervous when the play-by-play -play guy says he got all that one because that means Brady out kicked his coverage. <laughs> there wasn't two. About 20 seconds. There's a snap. Norwood going to try it. And ran right into the Steeler that was down there to make the hit. It was a nice one by Curtis Brown. Curtis Brown has 13. Third down at five. Colt McCoy doesn't miss on this one. Got it to Norwood. And he's across the 45 yeah, to the 46 yard line. line. Tell you what, you walk in the Steelers facility, it's a little bit intimidating when you walk by all those Lombardi trophies. Right. Hey, all behind glass with the lights on them and everything. Wait, what did your boy Swanee tell you last night? I said, yeah, you got those six Lombardi trophies. He says, yeah, but the first four are shinier than the other ones are. <laughs> oh, man. Those all came under Chuck Noll. And then Coach Cower, Coach Tomlin, or the others. And really, it's a legacy. These Steelers, they try to... Wallace, hit as he let it go. A flag on the play. Jordan Norwood brought it in. This is going to be against Michael Adams. Coming over the top of Norwood. 
Short drop for Wallace. They run the slant to Norwood. And he's going to be short of the first down. Yeah, that's good. From their own 22-yard line. Seneca Wallace. Caught by Norwood. And Norwood's close to another first down. And Norwood is quickly becoming a pretty dependable receiver. Comes out, just going to run out and just stop and turn around. It looks simple, but it's so, at this level, you've got to learn as a receiver in the NFL to run as fast as you possibly can and stop in about two or three.